Welcome to episode number 11 of our Pokemon Mystery Dungeon Explorers of Sky playthrough. I almost forgot what we were playing then. It was really unprofessional of me. Pokemon Mystery Dungeon Explorers of Sky playthrough. If you missed the last episode, please do go and check it out. Because in the last episode, we made it to this point here. Which I don't know what this cave is going to be called. Whether it's just going to be called the um, fog, 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 fog bound lake. I can't remember what it was called. I don't know. I don't know whether it's just going to be called that. We made it through the foggy forest, basically, anyway. Uh, which had a lot of fog. And we put the drought stone into Groudon's heart. Right into Groudon's heart. And, um, yeah, it allowed us to um, to make it to this point before... Well, and Team Skull threatened us as well. Which was a little bit nefarious of them. If you are enjoying this playthrough, please do leave a like down below. Comment and subscribe. I appreciate all of your comments and interactions. And, uh, yeah, today we're going to be heading into this cave here. I've already sorted out my items, so let's uh, let's head into here. Ready to go in, Liam? Let's try our best, Liam. Meanwhile, back at the Groudon statue. Hey, Chief. What's going on? Something wrong? Coughing, Chief. Hey, Chief. You've been staring him down for how long now? Come on. So you and I give him a double dose of the old noxious gas. Shut your yap. Dear friends, what's wrong? You've been making such scary faces at me. Scary faces. Ah, this guy's tough. Really tough. I get it. You're trying to make me laugh with silly faces. I bet I can make you laugh too. Blah. Yeah, whatever. <laughs> no, I'm not doing it. I'm not doing it, Wiggly Tom. Coffee. Come on, Chief. Can't do this. It's all weird. So you just figure me out. Ah. Okay. This ain't working. We're out of options. Hey, Wiggly Tough. What's it? 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 No odd feelings, but uh, you're going down. Take this a noxious gas special straight from me and Coffee. Okay, Steam Cave, uh, which kind of makes me think we're going to be facing some fire types here, so Trevor might be able to uh, to get some decent some decent attacks in. We also might have a few ground types. Oh, uh, well, we're, apparently we've got Cricket Tunes. Not really sure why there's Cricket Tunes, but there's Cricket Tunes. Doesn't seem like the sort of place that Cricket Tunes would hang out is Steam Cave. But we can we can just keep making it through. We're, I'm, I'm quite happy to just go from staircase to staircase here. Oh! 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 You need to die pretty damn quickly. Okay, Trevor's been put to sleep. That's fine, we'll just go into there. And for some reason, we're just spawning next to the staircases every time. Please, use, use water gun. Use water gun, for God's sake. I can't believe how quickly we're just rocketing through this. We're four minutes into the episode. And we're already on the seventh floor of this dungeon. We've not had to really look for any staircases so far. We're not killing things outright in this dungeon. Yeah, I haven't killed anything one shot. 
Oh, there we go. There's a, there's a one shot. But like, we're, we're not really killing things outright. So, uh, we do have to keep an eye on that. Because Trevor did, nearly did die. Weird. That's a weird layout to this floor. Just wish that like Trevor had used water gun on these fire types. I know mud slap is technically super effective as well, but come on now, water gun will just murder them. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Embargo. Once again, another useless TM. Wow. Okay. We made it, we made it pretty high up. We must be getting close to the top. Hey, what's that? Okay, so I reckon we're facing Groudon in this episode. And just now, did you hear that? Did I just imagine that or not? Well, anyway, we're almost there, so let's keep going. And you can't access your items from that point. So, I'm a little bit scared. We'd have three Auron Berries. Uh, I'm just going to give this brown gummy to Travis. Hopefully get his IQ up a bit. We'd like to go on. Bro. Did you hear that, Leon? So I didn't imagine that sound after all. It was like some sort of roar. Uh, I wonder what it could be. Who knows what's ahead? But let's be brave. Let's keep going on. We're nearly there. Let's go. I know what's ahead. Yes, we are nearly there. When we reach the top, we may meet Uxie at last. May answer my big question. Who am I? That is, who was I before? I lost my memory. That reminds me. I still haven't said a word about this to Trevor. Excuse me. Yes? What is it, Leon? You have something to tell me? What is it? You, uh, you what? Ever since we reached base camp, you had a feeling you somehow know this place? You also learned about the Pokemon that lives at Fogbound Lake? And that's Ooxie, right? So the legend says it erases visitors' memories. So you suspect you've been here before, Leon? You think you encountered Ooxie who took your memory? I see. So that's what's been on your mind, Leon. Hmm. Leon. Well, now we just have to, one more reason to get to the top. When we got to meet Uxie and find out what really happened. Wonder what you were like before you lost your memory, Leon. Perhaps Uxie can provide the answers. Let's go. Let's make our way to the top, Leon. Upper Steam Cave. Uh, has our PP been restored? It has. Now, an issue we've got, like... I think we're going to be fine, Groudon. Huge issue. If Groudon has got anything that mildly resembles Earthquake, we're, um, we're dead. Oh, we can learn a new move. Bite. Nice. Um, actually, going to get rid of charge. I was useful when I had them linked, but honestly... Barnet is just way better. You can get flinches off. It's dark type, so, like, it's not resisted by anything in this game. I don't think fairy type exists in this game, so. Oh, it would have quick attack, wouldn't it? Of course it does. It's a Yamma. Quick attack is basically Yamma's special uh, move. Okay, we've got to go walk. There it is. There's a the staircase. We get through this cricket tune first. But... I 
Quick tunes do a lot of damage. <laughs> no, that's not the move I want. That's not the button I want. Boom. Oh, we didn't kill a silly Mizo. No, we did. I expected the double team to have killed it. Okay, third floor. Well, I mean, we've got some Reviver Seeds. I feel like having the Reviver Seeds is important. I'm really scared about getting to the top of this this dungeon. Level 17 for Trevor. No, I don't want to do that. I don't want to do that. I want to do that one. I'm pressing the wrong button, man. I'm not really bothered about picking up a Petra Berry. I say, come on, Trevor. Just kill it. I need to find the stairs quickly because Trevor's wandering around on his own and there are strong enemies around. Especially because he's now facing a Magmar. That's it. Use Water Gun. Oh, this kind of terrifies me. Hang on, the stairs are there. Trevor's found the stairs. Cringing. Lovely. Right. Fourth floor. Shuckle. Oh, I'm going to do nothing to this shuckle, aren't I? All right, so let's swap in. Let's use spark. Is that where we're gonna go? Ooh, I thought I'd kill. It does surprise me that I can hit them Mogmars with a super effective water gun and it not kill. to do some more damage than that. Mm, Travit. Come on, Travit. Kill it now. Give it another aura, but give him another aura and berry before I do anything here. I 
surely they can't give Earthquake to a, a Groudon in this game. He's going to have a ground type move, but it can't be Earthquake. Another, another level. Giving us more HP. Which I think we all have like desperately going to need. Some nice goomies. Let's give them to um, give them to Trevor. skill PP saver which is nice kill it what's this terrible TM gonna be flash wonderful that's completely awful Take the money. I've got a feeling this might be it. No, it's not. Wow, this dungeon is really long. Ice Fang. Why is this Gramble no Ice Fang? Okay, there's the music. Steam Cave Peak. I'm terrified. I'm terrified, guys. Now, we've climbed so far up. This place feels feels strange somehow. The air is very charged with tension. It's making my skin crawl. Ah, all over. Feels like I've been crushed. A terrible sense of danger. I'd say that was a terrible sense of danger. Eep. Oh, that's that sound we heard earlier, Leon. Just as I thought. It's the sound of roaring. No, something is is coming. Cool fish. Get this out, everyone. This is it. The ground on statue. But there's no one else here. Oh, oh, but there's no one else here. Are you really sure that you saw the girl, Master Corfish? I sure, I sure. I saw him when I was scuttling back to base camp. And Gilmas had dashed past all willy nilly in the hot pursuit of a perfect apple. I gave him a shout in the way, but he seemed too occupied to holler back. Corfish, I guess that Leon seemed went ahead. So I bet the Gilmaster went up after them, don't you think? Hmm? The ground. Who? What? Shaking. Come on. I can have that baby. Oh, yeah. What an uproar. It's a baby. Something going on up there. I set up. Alright. My voice is really straining here. So I think I'm going to have to give up on the voices for, for at least most of these characters. Because I've decided to give them all girl voices. And mm -hmm. Hey, Dad. You really hear something right over there? Like moaning and groaning? Oh, you just imagine it. Now, let's hurry. Yep. That was a different one of Doug Trio's heads talking from the normal one. <laughs> Owie. Oh, I deflated. I can't move. Oh, how did that happen? How did Wiggly Tough shrug off our noxious gas special like it was nothing? Yeah, and how did Wiggly Tough straight back at us? It's unbelievable. Ah. <sighs> Oh. Mm. Ah, what is that? It looks like the statue. That Pokemon really exists? Eve. Go. You. 
have come. Have you come to desecrate this place? Depart now. But all we want is to go to Fogbound Lake. What? Fogbound Lake. I am the guardian of Fogbound Lake. I am Groudon. You will never leave here alive, intruders. What? Hey, there's a way in. We can go through here. Oh, sorry. Hey. Hey, Chatter. Can I ask you something while we're running? Chatter, do you know a Pokemon called Groudon? Well, of course. Just what do you take me for? I'm only the head of intelligence for our guild. Groudon's a legendary Pokemon spoken of and myth and passed down through generations. A legendary Pokemon. Correct. Myths say that he raised the land from the sea and he built up the continent. Oh boy, that sounds like a colossal Pokemon. <laughs> what if you were to face Groudon in battle? What would happen? Battle? Out of the question. If anyone were foolish enough to face Groudon in battle, I would like throwing your life away. He is that strong, like all legendary Pokemon. Ah, this is scary. But we need to be brave. And I need to face up to this. There's no giving up now, Leon. Prepare for my wrath. <laughs> Weather has become sunny. Fire type moves are boosted. Water type moves are weakened. Right, first thing I need to do is I need to head into um, Trevor's moves. I'm just going to take Tackle off. I'm going to keep Growl and Mudslap on because if I can weaken his attacks with Growl, I would really appreciate it. I would really appreciate it. Also, what have I got set? I've got Spark set, so we need to set Bite. He's got mud shot. That does nothing. That did absolutely nothing. Because that's good just because of the sun. So Trevor, I need you to not even use water gun in this fight. I just need him to growl. Okay, we can live another. We can't live a slash though. So that's one reviver seed used. Groudon quickly stepped back. really need something's got to change because now I'm just not advancing and I need to make sure that I actually step forward mm, I've got an Oran Berry I want to use an Auron Berry rather than a Reviver Seed. I do. Bulk up. Oh, great. He's cringing. Right. Now we can go back to using Grell and Mudslap. Might as well just put them all on now, haven't I? Oh, 
Okay, tackle does nothing. So let's not use tackle. And that's on other reviver seed used. Is that all of them? We have no more reviver seeds left. So we now have to win this. Just because tackle does nothing. That was a crit. There we go. We've beaten Groudon. Uh, I think that was purely because of him missing a few attacks. Oh. 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 We did it. We did feel a Groudon. But is it really? Ah. Huh? Groudon disappeared. That was, that was not Groudon. That Groudon was nothing more than an illusion that I conjured. Who said that? Like I said earlier, I am the guardian here, and I cannot allow you to pass. Wait, please, we're not here to cause trouble. We only came for information. Information, you say? Yes, that's the honest truth. Well, we admit that we're an exploration team. We'd like to leave with treasure after all our effort, but we'll leave without any if you have a problem with that. We'll be happy to say that we just made it this far. Please, please believe us. Hmm. Well, okay. I believe you. Here he is. Let me welcome you, then. I am Uxie, the guardian of the Fogbound Lake. What? Did you say Uxie? Yes, truly. I stand guard over something special that lies here in Fogbound Lake. Now, let me escort you to Fogbound Lake. Please, come this way. I feel like it's a trap. I feel like it's a trap. I don't want to save my adventure. I'm going to go through this plot. Might as well get it all done, eh? Wow, it's become dark outside. Hmm. Maybe a little difficult to see at night, but behold, Fogbound Lake. Wow. Okay. That's pretty cool. That's incredible. Who'd expect to see such a big lake on a plateau so high up? And these floating Volbeat and Illumise, so beautiful. Water constantly wells up from far below this place. It flows up so heavily that it has long formed this enormous lake. Now cast your eyes to the glowing area at the lake's center. Yes, I see it. It's radiating from below. The blue gradient radiance, right? Step forward for a closer look. What could that be? I can't figure it out, but it's making my heart race. Why should it stir me up so much? Why is my pulse speeding all of a sudden? That's fantastic, but what is that? It's such a mystical quality. That is a time gear. What? That's a time gear? Yes, I guard the time gear. It's the sole reason I am here. Others before you have tried to trespass here, but I use my Groudon illusion to chase most of them off. Groudon? How'd you do that? That is something I create using my psychic abilities, like so. Ah! There's no need to be startled. As I've said, it's just an illusion. What you thought was no more than that. There's been others before who defeated my guard on illusion, and managed to make their way to this spot. But they were trespassers, so I took away their memories, and thus protected the lake. Took away their memories? Oh, that's right. We hope to ask you something, Yuxi. Meet my partner Leon. At present, a Pokemon. At one time, a human. Oh, really? A human? Yes, but Leon has lost all memory of being a human. So we were wondering, have you maybe met Leon before? Uxie? And did you take away Leon's memory? Has that ever happened? Did a human ever come here? 
Remember anything like that ever happening, Gooksy? The answer is no. No human has ever come here. I should explain further. I erase only memories of Fogbound Lake. I cannot fully erase all memories from living beings. I had nothing to do with your friend's memory loss. Nor anything to do with your friend's transformation into a Pokemon. That cause lies elsewhere. Oh well, that's okay. So it doesn't seem like you've been here after all, Leon. Uxie, we hope to meet you to learn more about my partner. Oh, what's that? A time gear, a time gear. Well, too bad. Oh, it's... Okay. We can't take a time gear. Wigglytuff. Wow, fantastic. And who might this be? That's our guild master. Glad to meet you, friend. Friend, 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 friend. Glad to meet you, friend, 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 friend. Amazing friend. Gaze upon this amazing view. I'm delighted we came. La dee da, la dee da. Didn't he really need to show this again, did it? Here we are at last. No time to catch our breath. We've got to hurry. Cool fish. Someone's over there. Let's go. Uh huh? Go, 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 go. Hold on. Let's go. Hold on. Spit it out. Ding, 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 ding. Yeah, cool fish. I'm not tasty. Hello, one and all. So what's wrong? Gill master. Oh, never mind that. Everyone, look up there. It's spouting. Pretty, pretty, pretty. Huh? Oh, wow, okay. Maybe you didn't need to show it again. <laughs> oh my, so shimmering. Yep, so kind of pretty. Yes, the lake's geyser erupts every now and again. It sends up water, just like the fountain, and the time gear sends up illumination from below. While many Illumise and Vobi glow upon the fountain of water, in harmony, they are the very vision of beauty. The treasure! The treasure! It must be the view of Fogbound Lake! Huh. Are you taking in this view, Leon? It's so magical. It's really too bad we didn't learn anything about your past, Leon, but I'm glad we came. I'm happy that I got to see such a beautiful scene with everyone. I'm truly happy. I'm glad I came too. So, so, sure, it's true we never learned who I am. Hang on a minute. Uxie said, said he didn't know me. But if that's true, how did I know about this place and that time gear? When I see that time gear, why does my pulse race when I see it? This unease I feel. What does it mean? No idea. So sorry to disturb you. Had a fantastic time. Friend, 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 friend. I shall not take away your memories of this place. You have earned my trust. But I must ask you that, that you keep this place a secret. Surely, thank you. We know what we need to do. You know, another time gear has been stolen. This one must stay safe. We will never say a word about this place. I swear it in the name of Wiggly Dust Guild. Please hold true to that promise. Okay. Let's be on our way. Chat out if you will. I'll have to be Guildmaster. Everyone, we're going back to the guild. And so, the guild's long and challenging expedition finally came to an end. Wigglytuff and the members safely returned to the guild. For Leon and the apprentices, going to the guild meant taking up the standard training schedule. It was life as usual back at the guild. The clouds lifted from Fogbound Lake and its surrounding areas. Okay, cool. The Exploration Team Federation has sent a message. Tre treasure bag is now bigger once more. There's one more message. The special episode Igglybuff the Prodigy has been unlocked. Okay, fair enough. I haven't been doing the special episodes, so uh, 
yeah we're gonna leave this episode off here guys thank you very much for watching a little bit longer than usual but uh, never mind thank you very much for watching guys i hope you have enjoyed this episode of the pokemon mystery dungeon explorers of sky playthrough if you have please do leave a like down below comment and subscribe i appreciate all of your interaction and i will see you next time stay brave guys How will I